Hello everyone, I'm Mike and today I'll be unboxing and demonstrating for you the Govi TV Backlight Kit. This is one of those products one comes across while randomly browsing Amazon or similar websites. It's app controlled and compatible with both Alexa and Google Assistant. Inside the box you will find the user manual, which is as clear as it gets, simple, direct and well explained an extra card for installation steps, specifying what kind of surface it can be applied to and how to correctly do it. After that, we have a box which is the controller, or using other words, where the magic happens. It has a power plug connection and, oddly enough, two USB type connections. One for the camera that is used to read the pixel colors and positions and one for the LED strip. Under the magic box, we have our LED strip, which, quality-wise, and to my own surprise, is clearly good. The chosen LEDs for this strip are known to be durable and able to accurately render vibrant colors across a wide range of brightness levels, despite not being the most power efficient. This wall device uses around 17 watts of power on full brightness. Under the LED strip there are four red stickers which can be placed on the TV to calibrate the camera sensor in the app. While they are not required I'd suggest using them, or if you can connect your TV to the computer, then open paint, draw four red squares, one on each corner, switch to full screen and you will achieve the same effect. Just as a side note the stickers did not leave any residue on the TV screen. Next we have the little camera which is used for pixel detection, basically what position on screen contains which color, which then gets translated to an appropriate position for the LED strip. It also comes with a stand that you are supposed to attach to the camera and stick it to the top of the TV. Both the LED strip and the camera mount uses 3M tape which is durable and doesn't detach easily. Inside the box there are also some plastic pieces, which can be used to better fixate the LED strip. Finally we have the power adapter, which outputs 12 volts and can handle 105 amps or up to 18 watts, and a alcohol pad to clean the surface of the TV if you need to. Placing the LED strip as per instructions was relatively quick and would definitely be easier if my TV was not placed so high, or if I wasn't short. After installation and turning everything on, I headed to the Play Store to download the GoV Home app, install it and open it. Unfortunately, it's one of those apps that require you to register. Once you do it, it will also ask you to connect to the Wi-Fi where you want your device to be connected to before starting the calibration process. This step was also quick and well documented as they show you exactly how to do it in the app. Just drag the dots to the right place and you're done. I'll be going over the basic color modes of the light kit first and play around a bit to show you what you can possibly do. From the app main menu you can directly set the lights on and off and on the device view you can adjust brightness or change the colors to your liking. The colors are more accurate than they might seem on this recording as I did not correct the color of the video while editing. Just as a side note, the LED strips do not flicker either, that's just my camera settings, so sorry about that. And besides the static color modes, there are some interesting scene modes, which include sunrise, sunset, movie, dating, romantic, twinkle, candlelight and snowflake. Being that, honestly, the snowflake is the most interesting of them all. The application also includes a gallery where users can upload and download their light scenes. Now just to sum it up, the biggest point of Ambilight is to draw you into the content you are watching. And that simple task is something I can tell you that this product can definitely achieve. Granted that it is definitely not as accurate as if the TV already came with it, or as for example Philips Ambilux, However, for around 50 bucks at the time of release of this video, it more than delivers. Moving on, 
The music modes of this kit are quite attention grabbing, but I'll let you be the judge of that. My TV is a LG Nano 86 with 49 inches, it costed around 500 bucks on Black Friday and for such a low price it's not something that comes with Ambilight so adding a completely new way of enjoying content for such a decent price was something that I had to try out and I'd say it definitely paid off. Overall I'm more than satisfied with this little kit, especially for this price. And I will be rating it a 9 out of 10, being that the point that I'm taking out is that you have to register to use the app. This was pretty much it for today. I do hope this demonstration video was useful to you. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section below. For now, I'll be leaving you with some extra footage of the video mode, which is quite eye-catching. Thank you for watching and see you.